welcome back. This is Bowscope with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I'm joined, as always, by my faithful squad of Radio Kane, Rosa, Cecil, and Edge. When we last left off, we were right outside the sealed cave. I think it's time for us to finally go in there and unseal it. It's about time we've done enough side questing. Hold the key to unbind the seal. Then the way to the dark crystal will be opened. I assume that nobody said that. And instead that was written on there somewhere. We still have a rat's tail. Don't know what to do with that. I cleared up a bunch of room in my inventory. Hopefully I cleared up enough. Because uh, I do believe that we are going to get a lot of new items today. Okay. We can head uh, not this way because that would be a dead end. It doesn't look like that would be a dead end, but unfortunately, I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to what dead ends look like. We do have a room down here, but I do see a treasure chest that I want to get first. We grab that with a life potion in it. Always nice. Always nice. Oh, it's a trap door. Now, these are going to be a pain in my ass, to be honest with you. And, oh, he found us. He found Kane. Oh, no. Alright, 1100, that's not bad, that's not bad. Let's, let's aim, I got plenty of arrows. Disrupt! Uh-oh. Damn you. Damn you to hell. Life potion it is. Hooray. Go life potion. Now, uh, like I said, these guys are a pain. Uh, they are definitely a pain. Let's go for a uh, cure three, and damn it, I've done this wrong, and a manticore has appeared. Jump on it, please. Uh, the thing with the trap doors is blaze. Super. Awesome. Let's see, what do you have on? Blitz. Can we piggy you? That'd be greatly appreciated if I could piggy you. The thing with the, tr the, the trapdoors is, th is that if you do not uh, kill it in time, it'll summon one of two monsters, one of which you see here. And it's not fun. So you try to kill it, uh, once it gets like about 4,000 HP uh, gone with 1,000 HP less left or so, you want to finish it immediately. Uh, you get 1,200 gil. 7,000 experience for that fight. That is a lot of experience, but unfortunately it doesn't look like I got any level ups off of it. So let's keep going. We found a long sword in there. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen the generic names of the swords, but definitely got the long sword here. 128, 118. Not as good as the ninja sword. So that is going to stay on edge. And we've got werebats, which are new as well. Start casting Cure 2 on everybody. Nice. We are able to do a ton of damage, though, thanks to me leveling up a little bit here. Let's just blitz him. Blitz him in the face with a whip. That doesn't do much at all. Go cure too. Cure everybody. Mostly Cecil and Edge, to be honest with you. Damn it. Everybody is, like, poisoned here, it looks like. Well, at least Cecil and Rydia are. And then the last whereabouts should go down here. Damn it. Who else are you poisoning? Oh, well, he's already been poisoned, so it doesn't matter too much. Aim at them. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, they are weak to missiles, uh, so any kind of boomerang or arrow should should do the trick there. You get 1,065 gil, 1,230 experience. Personally, I don't believe they are weak to any sort of magic at all. So we need to head over here and grab the other treasure chest, where we find an ether, always useful, not for selling though. Not in this game. There are definitely other games where. Ethers are primarily used for selling, but not this game. This game, they are practically useless to sell, and nothing else around here, so we are free to go into that door. Once we take out the huge Nagas, I don't believe we've seen huge Nagas before. Forgive me if I am wrong, though. So I'm going to keep this in. Hopefully I can do a little damage and paralyze the huge Naga. That is the point of the Blitz Whip, uh, really. Uh, if not, yes, it worked. Let's say if not, we can continue to just do massive amounts of damage, and hopefully it works out for the best. 
down goes a huge naga. But for that we get... Ah, 480 gil? That's nothing. 1440 experience, no level ups, as you might expect from piddly experience like that. Really? One step in the same fight? Now we can head here, where pretty much... Uh, just assume that every door is going to be a trap door, to be honest with you. That is how common these damn things are. Search. Ah, crap. That's no good. Don't... Don't kill right yet. Please don't. Uh... Aim at it. Hopefully we can kill it. Damn it. Ah, crap. Down goes Radio. Aim at it. Okay, that was crap. Why am I Why am I even bothering with you, Rosa? Ugh, what am I going to do with you? Do you have... You do not have... You don't have any kind of life spell, unfortunately. And right here gets no experience. Hooray! 4,500 gills, 7... Did we get more experience for just taking on this one thing? 7,775 experience? Kane gains a level. Cecil gains a level. You know who didn't gain a level? A dead right here. Hold on while I revive her. With that done, we are free to move on inside, where we find a treasure chest and two more doors that I'm going to assume are traps as well. They are. I am not a fan of these trap doors. They kill me, and there's nothing in here. I assume these are just here for experience. I will take it! I have pretty damn good experience. Anything through this door? No! Hooray! Trap doors that lead to nothing. That's exactly what I wanted to see. But experience is always nice. I guess I can take that. Let's take one step. That's exactly what I meant to do. Anything over here? There is something over here. We find another life potion, which is <laughs> needed. That one doesn't lead all the way down. That would have gone to my doom, I think, maybe. Find another life potion here. Uh, this actually leads down to the next level. I know, it, it just looks like it leads to nowhere. What? Oh. <laughs> I was wrong! I thought that led to the next level, no? No, and so we have to fight screamers. So apparently I was wrong. I forgot how the dungeon was laid out. Just that one little spot there, apparently. Could we change rows? That'd be greatly appreciated. I don't believe we have seen screamers before. Uh, so let's take them out. They're obviously some kind of Medusa enemy. And damn, they are weak to Kane. Kane and his... Well, his spear, I think it is. Yeah, just fight it. I don't think it matters if you do, uh... Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. They are weak to drain, it looks like. Get 410 gil, 1240 experience. These are not supposed to be tough enemies, I take it. So, let us move on and... Uh, more doors. More doors. Alright, let's head through here, and we've got nothing. Why? Why do you make me fight doors for experience? Oh, great, there's another one over there. Perhaps the better question is, why do I keep falling for it? Oh, there is a treasure chest here. Finally, we get the light sword, which I assume is going to be an upgrade for Cecil. He's the only one who can use light. The power of the light. Uh, 126 to 121 and less defense. So there's got to be some kind of multiplier on this, doesn't there? All right, we're looking at uh, 45 strength, 26 agility, uh, 54 vitality. The uh, multipliers aren't really affected by swords as much as your overall strength. And then, uh, let's see here. Light, 121. Ugh. This gives them, oh, it does give them an 8 time multiplier, and I believe a little bit more strength, so... I think I'm going to try it out. I'll try it out. We'll see. We will see. It's kind of iffy, if you ask me, but I don't have the, uh, the attack command memorized. Sorry. And we do have a new enemy that he finally shows up. Don't fuck you. Uh, he finally sh showed up the yellow dragon. This is the other monster that the trapdoor can show, can, can summon, I guess you could say. Uh, let's gonna try. Let's try my strongest spell against him. That is Ice Three, and that killed Cecil again. Are you kidding me? Stop killing Cecil! Stop killing my Cecil! Yes, get your turn back. 
so you can cast life. That'd be appreciated. Except, you know, down goes the yellow dragon thanks to ice three. You get 1500 gil, 8500 experience for the trapdoor and that yellow dragon combined. A couple level ups. Uh, Cecil did learn, not Cecil, Edge did learn image somewhere along the line, but I need my Cecil back for all that effort. You better give me something good in here. Ooh. This kind of looks like the way forward, but it's probably not, to be honest with you. We get a ninja star, an elixir, and a box. Hooray, box! And another treasure chest over here with 5,000 gil. I will take it. I'll probably sell it. Uh, when I said I didn't memorize the attack command, I meant the, the formula for how that all works. Actually, I should probably switch Cecil back. He's not doing as much damage on the trap doors anymore. And through this door here, we find nothing. Hooray! More experienced doors. And I see that down there, and I don't like the looks of it. I'm gonna keep going for the doors! Let's head into this room here, where we find a save point! <laughs> that is sorely needed. Rested and saved. Let's move on to another door. Hooray! Come on, something good. No whammies. Thank you. Treasure for once. We get another long sword out of there and a ninja helmet. Now, we've already seen the long sword. So let's go ahead and look at the... Oh, what am I doing? The ninja helmet. It's got to be better than the bandana, doesn't it? 37, 12. 38, 12. Although his attack is down by one. I assume that this changes his something. Uh, 49, 33, 37. 49, 33, 37. I'll remember that, I swear. Two. Well, his agility is faster, but his strength and vitality are down. I'm gonna keep him on it. I'm gonna keep him on it. Even though I did have to switch Cecil back to the uh, defense sword. Still, I'm gonna trust that the game is giving me upgrades with, with Edge, to be honest with you. Yes, that, that rope leads nowhere. Instead, we must fight this trap door. And through this door, we get another empty room? No, it's actually the way forward. Hooray, we finally found it. Getting Ether one out of there. And now we can head down here where we find more treasure hooray <laughs> they're trying to be nice to us after all those treasure rooms with nothing in them uh, do i trust them i have no choice i did put cecil or not cecil i put edge back on the bandana because uh, there's nothing in here because it's yeah it's doing a lot more damage we're talking about 200 more damage per hit and that is a lot right now so let's continue moving forward with all the trap doors out of the way, hopefully. I don't know if I can go up there anyway.